used to listen to people asking for help. That's what I was trying to do, was help people. But I was fooling myself. Darkness only responds to darkness. I'm Daredevil. Prison has changed me. What is it you're saying? I want to make a deal. He's claiming to have changed, but they don't know him like I do. The last time that we spoke, you threatened me. That is something that I cannot forgive. I'll stop him for good this time. There's only one way to stop me, but you're not going to do it. Are you sure about that? Just be careful that you don't become the monster. Because I've tried to make this city a better place. I will tell the world who you really are. Someone who's now showing his true colors. Sometimes you might have to hurt one person for the greater good. The city needs a new villain. I think I might have found him. Daredevil is our true public enemy. According to eyewitnesses, the brutal attack has been carried out by none other than... Daredevil. I'm Daredevil. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. Surprise, surprise, new Daredevil trailer a couple days early. Obviously they're doing Born Again. You probably detected on a bunch of the big comic book Easter eggs and the fake Daredevil who's being played by the person that we all think that was playing Bullseye headed into the season. What a crazy coincidence that he can land all those crazy quick shots with the Escrima sticks. Because of Venom and all the Marvel stuff happening this week, we're still doing the Spider-Man PS4 game giveaway. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a Daredevil-related comment on the video. I'll name a new winner at the end of this. The trailer opens with a really iconic comic book panel of Daredevil holding the cross on the steeple. He's talking about what he used to be and what he's becoming during the season. He needs to embrace the Devil of Hell's Kitchen persona and leave behind the Daredevil that he was trying to be before. They actually explain the real reason why he's wearing the black costume is because he doesn't feel like he deserves to wear the regular Daredevil costume. There was even some weird trickery where it looks like he's fighting Melvin Potter in his workshop. They're like you see him sling that blade at him. Then you see Melvin Potter later in the trailer closing the gate on him while he's touching his old Daredevil costume. He's so messed up in the head, this might have something to do with the fake Daredevil going around hurting people, so he might be confused about Matt being the person that's actually hurting people and not the fake version of Daredevil. When he's in the church, the interesting thing too, like you think he's in Father Lantham's church, but then you see the person holding the rosary beads has fingernail polish. That's Matt's mother, Maggie, from the comics. But Charlie Cox himself said that they would be doing something interesting with their relationship. They did clarify that the convent where he winds up at the end of Defenders, he actually grew up in this convent. So remember all the flashbacks from season one when he was a kid when Stick came to visit him at the convent? That was where Mother Maggie worked. So it's the same place where he grew up. No idea how he wound up there at the end of Defenders. Maybe Electra took him there because I do think that she's still alive. No idea when she's going to come back because there's so much stuff happening during season three. Most of the scenes that you see him, even early in the trailer where he's wearing the new black costume, it's actually a new one. I mean, he goes back to the old style of black costume, but he cobbles together a new one in the basement of the convent with stuff that he finds there. So all the people that he fights once he's in the black costume are probably people working for Fisk or the FBI because Fisk has the FBI thinking that Daredevil is the real criminal here. I'm a changed man. So I love Foggy's reaction when he sees that Fisk gets out. The showrunner explained that the reason why he gets out of prison is because he finds out that Vanessa is going to be implicated in all of his crimes 
So he wants to keep Vanessa out of prison. He strikes a deal with the FBI to inform on other criminals in the city. So you see part of his machinations. He's the kingpin of crime and he's going to slowly take over the city by getting rid of the competition and by using this fake version of Daredevil played by the bullseye character. So the crazy thing is, is like you see this picture here of him in the halfway house, like this place where he's staring at the white wall that's meant to be like the white painting that Vanessa gave him. This is where he goes after the FBI lets him out of prison, but while he's still informing for them. So even though he's out of prison, he's not completely scot-free. But when he says he's a changed man, you can sense the born again metaphor. Like he puts the white kingpin comic book suit on because he's normally wearing black. The way that Catholicism and religious metaphors are so important for the series. I mean, it's really about Daredevil being born again. But I love the twist on it that they're using for the kingpin character, which is not something from the comics. There's obviously a whole bunch of comic book changes here. Kingpin sounds like he has a phone call or a meeting with Matt Murdock in broad daylight and references Daredevil season two when Matt says, there's nothing that you can do to hide from me. We can go find Vanessa and throw her in prison. And that was really what set Kingpin off. It was threatening Vanessa. So when he's saying, you threaten me, I can't let that stand. That's what he's referencing. So that's why he's coming after Matt Murdock. But then later through the course of the season and probably as the FBI starts to go after him, he probably figures out that he's Daredevil because you see him sitting in the chair here with Kingpin standing over him. Show the city who you really are. And then he stands up and turns around to clock him like he's wearing his black costume with the mask off. So however they get to that moment, there is no question that Kingpin knows who Daredevil is. It'll be interesting to see, even though I expect Daredevil to end the season on a high, be born again, quote unquote, what they do with Kingpin going forward. Because when a villain that powerful knows who you are, it makes a really interesting situation day to day between the fights that you have. Like, what is Daredevil going to do by the end of the season that's going to prevent Kingpin from just turning right back around and coming after him and all of his friends? Most of the last part of the trailer is dedicated to teasing the fake Daredevil bullseye character. So the whole thing here, I think I explained it in a couple of my previous Daredevil videos about the fake Daredevil from the Born Again title. It was actually two different characters in the comic book. So what happened is, is once Kingpin found out Daredevil's real identity, he separately hired a deranged mental patient to dress up like Daredevil, just a random mental crazy person to go around and start killing people. Then separately, he also hired Will Simpson, the nuke character, remember from Jessica Jones season two, to just go down and straight up kill Matt Murdock. So what they've done for the TV show, I think is a big upgrade. They've used the bullseye character to combine all those separate characters. What's going to happen next is, is Chris Evans just dropped his final goodbye to the Captain America character. So everybody's making this Will Ferrell face just crying into their drinks right now. So we'll do a video for that next. That should be up in the next couple of hours. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening. So I'll just post schedule updates in the top pinned comment. So just check that out for what's coming next. Congratulations, Kyle Sinclair. You're the giveaway winner from my last big video. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your details. Click here for my non-spoilery Venom review and click here for that new Spider-Man trailer that they dropped. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.